In this update, there's two brand new mojos and also void tools, void caves, and in-game quest guys. We'll be reviewing all of this new stuff in the video. So first thing first is the two new mojos, the spell master, which gives you extra voodoo regeneration and costs three mojos to unlock, and the god sling, which is now the most powerful ranged weapon in the entire game guys, and costs two mojos to unlock. We'll go ahead and unlock both of them. Bam, boom. And let's test the spell master now. This is supposed to give us extra voodoo regeneration. And as you can see with the spell master, the voodoo regeneration is very, very fast, guys. And this will definitely help out a lot in combat. And for the god sling, it takes six crystals and 25 gold to craft. And instead of normal stones, you actually need obsidian stones as ammunition. Because this god sling is very powerful, guys. And also very fun to mess around with. Let's fight. Oh my god, mommy, help me. Oh, mommy. <laughs> As you can see, we just killed that man in an instant. He does 70 damage per hit, so it's quite OP. Haha, <laughs> I love messing around with this. Next up is the Void Axe and Void Pickaxe. The Void Axe does 19 damage, and the Void Pickaxe does 20 damage. And this is the new Void Cave, guys. And that's the middle lake island right over there, so you guys will be able to tell where this is based on that. Now, this cave is very, very dark, guys, so I recommend having some resource to craft some torch to light up the area. Otherwise, you guys will just be walking in blind. But essentially, in this cave, you guys can find the Mangtai Rock, and most importantly, the Void Crag. The Mangtai Rock has 2,000 health, and the Void Crag has 3,000 health. I wouldn't really recommend mining the Mangtai Rock, since it only drops one Mangtai. Not really worth it, I'd say. But the Void Crags are definitely worth it, because it drops 3 Void Stars and 3 Obsidians. The Obsidians are useful as a form of ammo for the God Slingshot, and the Void Stars are useful for crafting Void Tools and Void Armor. And the last final feature in this new update is the in-game quest that you guys can complete to earn some rewards. There's 4 available quests for you guys, and it resets every 24 hours. And if you click on info, it lets you know in detail about what the quest is, and the rewards for completing it. And the more difficult the quest, the better rewards you guys will receive as well. We'll go ahead and take on the Zion Madness quest, which is to eliminate the frozen Zion boss that's on the Iceland. And the rewards for it are 100 essence, 1 OMD chest, and 3 essence chests. Sounds like a good deal to me, so let's go ahead and accept the quest and destroy his ass. <laughs> okay, that sounds. Okay, there you go, we finally broke the ice. And yo, this sign really wants to squish us to death. Alright, let's just go in with the attack, boys. Come on, God Rock attack. <laughs> it just can't even reach me. <laughs> Literally, I'm spinning around so fast, it can't even reach me. I'm, I'm, I'm behind you, dude, bro. Oh my god, this tiny human is smacking me up. What? What? Alright, I'm back for round two, giant. No messing about now. I'm not taking another L from my NPC. I'll just keep using the God Slingshot, and that's it. You're already low health anyways. You will die. I will finish you. Okay. I need to rethink life. There you go. Quest completed. So we got one OMG chest and three essence chests, just like it stated. So that was all the prominent features in the update. I'll definitely be messing around more with the God Slingshot. It's my favorite part about the update. Let me know what's your guys' favorite part about the update as well. I would love reading your guys' comments. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe with notification on to never miss a video from me. And with that said, you guys have a fantastic day and goodbye. Surprise.